we have to find a way to quieten our oceans. And if we could now make these, these vessels like the ocean bird be wind powered, it's this classic win, win, win. Every one of us should get behind it because if shipping became propelled once more by sails, both the sounds that are destroying the lives of animals in the ocean like whales and the burning of so much fossil fuels would cease. And we would go back to a point where species that live in the oceans were designed to have a life. How could anything be more important than that? I see nothing that could be. Two out of every three breaths we take come from our oceans, not from rainforests. Humans need healthy oceans to survive. Healthy whales, healthy oceans. Sound pollution in the oceans is one of the great environmental challenges that tends to fly under the radar of public awareness. Unlike humans, sound is the main way that whales observe their surroundings. This is a much more effective medium. It travels a lot faster in water and over vast distances. But this also causes problems. Humanity is filling the ocean with sound. And because these sounds travel so far, there's nowhere for the whales to hide. This noise pollution is undoubtedly one of the biggest threats that whales face today. It happens in two basic ways. There are extremely loud noises that can physically harm whales, potentially causing them to go deaf and even cause them to strand on coastlines. Second, there are noises that are quieter but constant and ever-present. Most of this comes from giant ocean-going cargo ships. Roughly 80% of global trade in volume is transported by sea. This is a kind of freeway that humans rarely catch a glimpse of. This reduces whales' ability to use sound to perform essential life functions. And while it doesn't kill or harm the whales outright, it could be reducing their chances of survival considerably over time. I think the worst possible outcome is that as noise levels increase in the ocean post-COVID and with the combined impacts of things like climate change and chemical pollution, the environment just becomes so poor quality that the animals can no longer survive in it and they just slip towards extinction. I think there are two main things we need to do here to overcome this problem. The first is groups like Ocean Alliance studying the problem, trying to better understand it. And if we can better understand it, perhaps we can better mitigate the impacts of the threat, of the noise. The second thing is creating technologies to reduce the noise levels. Well, I'm not exaggerating my feelings. I don't think there is anything, any step which is cutting so much of the roots instead of just thrashing with the branches. I think it's a really exciting time for ocean commerce. And I think Ocean Bird exemplifies the idea, the dream, and where we're going.